We'll call this one, filmed on December the 5th, uh, Saturday anyway, fire, selecting firewood. This is a nice block of dry cedar. You can see the two shades there. Uh, and this is what you want because cedar burns hot. So this is what's called the sapwood right here, this lighter wood. And this is what's called the heartwood, the darker, redder wood, from which rest, western red cedar gets its name. Okay, this is my hatchet for splitting it. This is an axe. Uh, these are what are called single bitted uh, axes because they only have a blade on one side. See? Uh, if it has a blade on two sides, it's called a double bitted axe. You can uh, burn anything you want in wood. This is our wood pile and you can see we need to get some more wood. This is what's called a splitting maul. Um, and uh, you can burn anything you want <coughs> but to, uh, to get your fire started you want some kindling, some cedar kindling like I'm splitting with my hatchet uh, off of this block here. You can see the, the end of the block is not square, not round. And uh, kindling is again Cedar kindling is very useful for starting fires. Now, of course, I'm going to get a million comments. Um, there's better woods, better, you, you shouldn't use kindling. But this is what I use, and it works very well for me. You can see some of the kindling. Actually, it's uh, flakes that I've uh, uh, split off of this, sheet, this piece. And down here, you can see one of the pieces that I'm going to uh, take up to our burning pile for use probably tonight in building my fire. So uh, that's, this is step one.